Oh, we're on. Well, we wanted to show you a couple of very important things before you get started on all your projects. But first, this is Alfie. Yes, hi Alfie. Not to be confused with any other Alfie, because this Alfie we met on the Alpaca school bus, and we've been friends ever since. Yes, good. But his real name is McAlpherson, but his friends just decided to shorten that to Alfie. Yeah, and he likes that much better. But please don't confuse this Alfie with any other Alfie in your neighborhood or on internet or any other continent because we know there's a very famous Alfie in Australia, Australia. But this is our Alfie who does videos with textiles and other art products. You ready? Okay, here we go. The first thing you need to know before you start any of your videos is what is fusing. And if you look at this, it says fusing is iron on glue. So you need an iron. There's a picture of an iron. And you need some fuse. Now, fuse can come like this in a roll. And it's shiny on one side and flat on the other side. And that means you iron one side first, peel it off, and then iron the other side on. Iron-on fusing can often be confused yeah, with interfacing. You can get fusible interfacing in a plastic container like this. But it's for making fabrics more stiff, stronger. It's not for gluing it together on both sides. So you need to get double-sided. So you can get little packages like this, and this one's extra hold, so that means it's gonna be strong. Strong, yeah. All right. Now, let's just show them a little trick. If you just iron a little tiny strip on the back, then you have lots of room to sew around it without getting glue on your needles. That's just a little trick. But of course, you can put the fuse on all of it if you want to. Now, the next thing you need to know before you start our videos is the running stitch. It's very simple. It's just a stitch that goes across Hold your fabric together, and it's knotted at one end and knotted at the other end. It's called the running stitch, and this is what it looks like up close. Something else that we think is very fun, yes, very fun, is called the Frankenstein stitch. And if you look at it, it looks like someone's trying to sew something together who doesn't know how to sew. But that's just the point. We want it to look playful, whimsical, and if you make a mistake, who cares? That's the point. It looks like long stitches, short stitches, sideways stitches, any kind of stitches, and we just call it the Frankenstein. Okay. Now, if you do not have a stash, a really big stash of fabric, for all these projects, we would like to make a suggestion. How about if you just go out and get some felt? Yep, there's blue, you got it. That's blue, good. Felt is reasonably inexpensive. Here you go, there's a little sticker and it says 33 cents a square. Now, of course, that's subject to change at all times. Right, right. And if you go someplace where there's a sale, you can get probably even less. And there's so many colors. So many colors. You'll have so much fun with all these different colors and all of the projects. All right. So here we go again. This is Alfie. Not to be confused with any other Alfie. We have 
iron-on fuse that we're going to be talking about a lot in all of our videos. We're going to be doing the running stitch, which is a very simple stitch to just hold things together. And last, we're going to be doing some Frankenstein stitching, which is just very whimsical. All right. Stay tuned, because there's a lot of interesting things coming up. See you soon. Bye.